What is up everybody, Justin here, Side Hustle Pro, coming to you with another video of a few things that are completely sellable on eBay. Things that uh, I've sold. Um, I think most of these are from this week, the last few days. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to share with you uh, five things real quick. Not going to be a super long video. Five things though that uh, you can sell on eBay um, and that I have sold uh, on eBay. All right, first thing here um, is this Air Max One. Uh, now, I'm actually really glad that these shoes that these shoes sold. These things are super nice, right? Check these things out, right? Super cool. Um, they're actually the um, Latin Heritage or Latin History or Latino History Month. Wasafu, red, los primeros, right? Look at those things, though. Those things are nice, man. They were a 10. If they were a 15, which I doubt I would ever find a 15 of them, but if they were a 15, I totally would have I would have rocked these things. These are sick. So I, I'm actually really glad that, that they sold. So you know, I got the tag there. They were size 10. I uh, sold them for 110 um, in free shipping. Now, I'm pretty sure I paid 40 for them or 50 so we'll just do it with 50 49 99 oh I'm sorry I gotta put the it, sold price here one one zero that's what I sold it for shipping cost um I want to say shipping was around eight or so dollars uh, so we'll just put 10 item cost was 50 and then we'll just do our sales tax real quick so 50 times 0.07 is seven percent so about we'll just put 54 bucks 54 all right, I am, um, at least for right now, uh, well, I have a store, and for right now, I'm at least top-rated seller. That might change when you have to start offering that uh, free free return shipping and all that. Uh, but for right now, this is it. So these only sat for, I want to say like two or three weeks, maybe three weeks. But anyway, sold them for 54. Oh, I'm sorry, bought them for 54, uh, out the door for 110 about $10 shipping, about $33 profit. Um, like I said, I think it was a little bit less than this, so it's probably more like 35. But you know, spend 50, you know, profit 35. I'll do that. And plus, I was stoked about these anyway because this is a nice quality product, man. You know, I mean, these are just these are just sweet. I like selling stuff that is that I feel good about selling. You know, so those are just pretty nice. Um, those came from um, Burlington, I'm assuming, um, and I go to a lot of Burlingtons, and I only found one of these so far, but they are nice. All right, second thing is a Brooks Brothers shirt. Now the lighting is off on this a little bit. I did get a new backdrop, right? But I didn't have the um, the backdrop came, but the um, like the thing that holds it, right? Like the rack or whatever that holds it didn't come, so I had to sort of you know get a rig it up here so you can see how even the vinyl wasn't all the way out and it's got the corners there I'm just trying to get this stuff listed and get it out the door and you know it doesn't look horrible I mean it's not like throwing on the bed with a cigarette butts around it or anything but I couldn't get I couldn't get it to come down far enough and I don't have a high enough mannequin so I put this like random 2x4 under it right so it looks sort of jank but I think all in all I think that this new background is going to make it look nice and a lot of the, a lot of the pictures turned out a lot better this one just sort of the lighting was off but anyway uh, Brooks Brothers uh, 1634 non-iron traditional fit I just listed this last night and sold it um, I am pricing these to uh, to sell by the way right so $17.99 I probably could have got maybe about five more bucks out of that if I wanted to wait but I'm as I'm clearing out this this back stock right this um, death pile which by the way I'm doing really well I'd only have about 15 uh, blazers and suits to do and then and then I'm all caught up with some uh, odds and ends random stuff but anyway uh, so this is looking real nice here, $17.99, and I don't mind pricing it at that. I mean, if that sells in a day, I had like four of them that I bought together. It was the same guy, I think, donated them all. Um, picked those up at a Goodwill, and I paid four, or I'm sorry, the shipping cost was about four bucks. Item cost was about five, sold it for $17.99. So, you know, I mean, spend five, profit seven. Um... And do that overnight so that's not bad and plus i had four of them they were real easy to list up so not bad so if you look at it like that four of them i would have spent about 20 bucks and then you know what you profit with 7 14 28 
right? So a little bit more than 100% ROI on that. So just a Brooks Brothers shirt. Um, these vintage Allen Edmonds brown perforated trim wingtip Oxfords <laughs> men's shoe tendy. Allen Edmonds. Um, sometimes they'll sell really fast. Uh, as a matter of fact, Tom Rolando, uh, he just had a pair of these the other day, and he put up on his video about how fast his sold. He uh, he listed them, and they sold like real quick. And these sold within the hour. I, I listed them, and I went out to go do some work, and then I, while I was driving to uh, the job site, um, these things uh, popped up and, and sold right. So you can tell they're worn on the insides there, right? I mean, they're old. As a matter of fact, I think this tag in here says, if I can find it, uh, that, that's not that tag here. It says 1993 in there, so maybe that's the year that it was from. So these are, so these are some old shoes. You know, the wear is not too horrible on them. I mean, you could always, people could always replace those bottoms anyway. They, I mean, they're not in, in too bad of shape. So uh, I did just send those out for $39.99. So you figure 39.99 uh, shipping costs. We'll just average it at 10. I think it was like eight or something. I think I paid six for those. So 20 bucks, right? Spend six, make 20. Not bad. Uh, next here, we got this vintage 1996 Brain Warp handheld electronic game. Now this sat around. As a matter of fact, I had a video about when I when I picked this up from uh, from last year. So this thing just sat around forever. I never tested it, but going through my piles picked it up put some batteries in it and it works it's a little iffy right like because the way that this works is there's sensors in it okay and the sensors are kind of iffy i mean you know it's it's what 20 something years old so i just put there you know has been tested it works to my knowledge there are several games and i played three of six with no issues sold as is right and so i'm just letting people know that i didn't test it all the way but i did test some of it and, and it did uh, it did work um but whenever I sell vintage electronics like this, you know, there's always like if they would like if they would contact me and say, oh, well, it didn't work. I would say, well, you know, I, I said sold as is, but I also offer returns. So then if they replied back, well, it doesn't even work. Well, I'm going to pay you, blah, blah, blah. OK, that's fine. I'll just send you your money back and just keep the thing. Not a big deal. All right. Um, and I, I do like to include the instruction manuals with this. Uh, but I didn't this time. Like I said, I'm trying to get this stuff listed and out the door. $27.99 though. $27.99. I think the shipping was about eight bucks. I think I paid three for it plus tax. So we'll just do three. So spend three, make about fourteen. Not bad, right? Vintage electronics. All right. Um, last thing that I sold that I want to show you is this premium pet safe basic in-ground dog pet fence. Now, I was a little iffy about picking this up. I picked it up for six bucks at um, at a Goodwill. Um, I had it listed for like seventy. I'm sorry, I had it listed for like I don't think I just had it listed for seventy. Um, some of the newer ones were something like one twenty and that kind of stuff. Um, I had it listed as Invisible Fence, and evidently Invisible Fence is trademarked, sort of like Velcro. Like you can't, if you get shoes, you can't say you know um, Velcro shoes because Velcro is like a trademarked name, right? Or so um, you have to do hook and loop fasteners, right? So sort of like Band Aid. Band Aid isn't actually what it is. It's like an adhesive thing or whatever. So Invisible Fence is like that because they took it down. It was up there for a couple of days. eBay took it down. Uh, send me a letter, you know, uh, trademark, blah, blah, blah. Just relist it without these words. So I relisted it as an in-ground dog pet fence, and it sold within a few days for 70 bucks. Uh, unused, just open box, includes everything you need. Can't promise all wires there, but uh, more can easily be spliced. And so everything in here is pretty much new, right? I mean, this was open. You can tell, like, those weren't even open. The flags are still in, a, in, a, in the sealed thing. I mean, you know, there's the charger and the adapter, there's the collar. Um, the only thing I wasn't going to do, you know, is take that wire out <laughs> and measure it to see if it was 500 yards. So I just let them know that it might not be. Um, and this sent out, what, the 11th? So, you know, I probably just got to these people. Um, I mean, the thing charged when I charged it, you know, so I mean, 
Uh, it it should it should work fine. You know, I mean, I don't have a dog, and I didn't put the the thing in to see if it would shock anything, but uh, should work okay. Um, so let's see, sixty nine point nine nine. I paid six for it. Let's just see what six six times point oh seven. So, oh yeah, so it's like six fifty. So we'll just do seven bucks. We'll just say it costs me ten to ship. So that's pretty sweet, right? You spend seven for it, and then you make back. Uh, 44 now I would love to have every single item I buy for seven and make $45 profit wouldn't that be nice wouldn't that be awesome if you could buy like a thousand items for seven thousand dollars you know and then get it back and what, what would that even be it would be let's see 45 uh, times one one two three I know I should be able to do this in my head 45,000 wouldn't that be nice <laughs> you spend seven thousand and you get your 45,000 back but that's not what the case is most of the time. But that's still a pretty sweet, pretty sweet uh, hit there. So anyway, there's five things that I just wanted to share with you. I just tried to pick out some different things, right? Like we got the new shoes without the box. We just got your used uh, dress shirt here. We got some used vintage shoes. Got some old electronics here from the 90s and just some sort of random off the wall thing, right? I didn't think it would be very exciting to show you five different shirts you know so just some random stuff here um, so when you're out uh, you know thrifting or, or during retail arbitrage or something like that make sure you check everything you know I mean obviously you don't have time to look for every single thing I spend most of my time um, looking at clothes and uh, and toys because those are in shoes those are the easiest for me to go through and then I'll look through you know like um, glassware and just random stuff stuff that I don't really know too much about but I may find something cool and this had a barcode so if it is a barcode it's easy to scan so scan it opened it up checked it out it was all there so anything like this that you know always sticks out so pretty cool uh, not bad so anyway thanks for uh, thanks for watching um, hopefully you got some ideas uh, again this is not a pricing guide you know you may look these things up and be like oh man you sold that for way cheap or well you really got more than I would have thought out of that or whatever you know um, get them in get them out you know get the money back and reinvest you know that's how it works um, so I'm not mad if I lost a couple dollars uh, and made a couple dollars right so like I'd rather you know take the seven today and then wait a month to get the ten with specific items you know I like I like the fast flip unless it's something super special but anyway uh, hopefully you did get some ideas of some things to look for um, I'm going to put my Instagram down uh, below with my Twitter I did sign up for Twitter so I, I don't really know much about it but evidently I can share my videos through Twitter and just with one click and everybody that subscribed gets it um, so yeah uh, if you like the video uh, give it a thumbs up um, share it like it subscribe it uh, to the channel and um, leave any comments uh, any questions and uh, until we meet again, until next time, keep grinding, keep learning, and keep earning. And I will see you guys another day.